This is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Brianna Strunk. Here's your Eyewitness News webcast on this Saturday. Let's check on the forecast with meteorologist Kevin Dirk. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Brianna. Well, we had a storm on Thursday. We had a storm last night. I'm afraid we're going to be looking at another one tomorrow but today not too bad we're going to be looking at a little bit of light snow early that's from that second storm once that pulls away looking pretty dry for the rest of the day 40 degrees for a high so we'll get a little bit of melting going on too overnight tonight 26 degrees mostly cloudy skies but at least it's quiet but that quiet is going to be broken for tomorrow we're going to start off dry enough but then that snow starts to make its way in here tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. So we're going to watch that for you as far as totals go. 36 for a high on Sunday. Monday could see a brief snow shower in the morning. Otherwise, we're going to start to see breaks in the sun in the afternoon. It's going to be a little colder, 30 degrees for a high. And check out Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're going to be looking at highs only in the low to mid 20s. Yeah, it's going to get chilly out there. We'll be in the single digits overnight. Just a chance of a couple of scattered snow showers those days. Then Thursday, we kind of clear out. Partly sunny skies, 26 for a high. And then Friday, well, you guessed it. Another system making its way towards us right now. It looks like some scattered snow showers. Temperatures back up into the mid 30s, though, Brianna. So that's not too bad. But uh, where is this snow coming from? Oh, all right. Thanks, all right. Kevin. The search continues for a murderer who killed a beloved Schuylkill County businessman in a New Orleans hotel. An employee at the Empress Hotel found 62-year-old Patrick Murphy stabbed to death Thursday. Murphy owned Murphy's Jewelers in Pottsville, which has been around for more than a century. Detectives issued an arrest warrant for 25-year-old Megan Hall, who is now wanted for second-degree murder. Authorities have not yet revealed a murder motive behind Murphy's death. We will continue to follow this case in Louisiana and we will let you know of any new developments in the investigation on the air and online at PAHomepage.com. Three weeks into kicking off his statewide recreational marijuana listening tour, Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman has a couple of local stops planned this weekend. This afternoon, he'll visit the Majestic Theater in Pottsville to hear what residents have to say about whether to allow recreational pot in Pennsylvania. Then later at 5, he makes his way to Penn State Scranton's Study Learning Center in Dunmore. Not everybody supports legalizing recreational marijuana in the Keystone State. The Pennsylvania Manufacturers Association issued an open letter to Fetterman regarding employment concerns, stating in part, quote, decriminalizing recreational marijuana use will increase marijuana usage, both in number of users and volume of usage. As a result, the pool of potential new hires will become even smaller because fewer people will be able to test clean. Pennsylvania's workforce crisis will become more acute. A local upscale French restaurant that abruptly closed a few months ago is back open for business. The Greater Wilkes-Barre Chamber of Commerce held a ribbon cutting yesterday for the relaunch of Lay Manhattan Bistro. The restaurant was evicted from the South Main Street site in November for not paying rent. Lay Manhattan Bistro is now under new ownership and as of last night, serving customers once again. That does it for this Eyewitness News webcast. Have a good day.